Synology has finally done it. Synology has been rumored to be doing this for years and years and years now, and it's finally come out, and I really want to check this thing out, but it's going to be way out of my price point, and that is Synology has just unveiled the HD 6500 hard drive high density server from Synology. It is a single 4U enclosure that has 60 hard drive bays in there, and it's designed to go to petascale. And so this is using Synology's new Petascale option that I've not gotten to check out, but I've talked to people and it's not been the best, but it's finally giving you massive amounts of storage within a Synology user interface. And I'm really excited for this product. I do think that Synology tends not to be the way to go if you're trying to go above like 300 terabytes, just because ZFS has a lot of stuff going for it and BTRFS does not scale as well at those insane speeds. But for people who love Synologies and don't necessarily need over 300 petabytes in one single volume, I do think that this is going to be an awesome application. I mean, just look at that right there. It can go up to 300 drives with SAS expansion. I am very excited to see this thing in action and it's got a very respectable speeds in there. I mean, it's got dual Xeons in there. So I have not yet been able to figure out how much this thing is going to cost but I would imagine it is going to be quite a pretty penny just because it's so expensive. But it does have some good features that have kind of been trickling in from other places, like that new out-of-band management port that we saw with the DS3621 XS Plus or 22, whichever one that is with the out-of-band management port. So it's kind of like a argument to Dell's iDRAC, all those ones. So it's good to see those in there. And it uses SAS expansion. So SAS expansion lets you just stack disk on disk on disk on disk. And so you get these massive, massive scale out builds. It's got dual power supplies and everything you would want. I mean, just think about it. If you just wanted a really powerful backup solution for an enterprise worth of computers, this is what you want. How great would it be to use Synology's insanely powerful features just to have one massive storage target here? It has been rumored for such a long time and I'm just impressed that it's finally come out. It also changes a lot how Synology normally operates, where normally with Synology, Synology DSM is just striped across all the disks, and so it's actually on the volume. Well, here, I guess, when they're like, okay, 60 drives, we've got to stop doing that. And so now it actually runs on two mirrored SSDs for system drives. And funny enough, they actually come with it. So you actually have the operating system running on a separate disk, which makes a lot more sense when you're talking about this much storage and how massive this is. It can scale up to 512 gigabytes of RAM, which is really what you need anytime you're going with this massive, massive amounts of storage. I mean, if you've got 300 hard drives, that could be, I think if my math is right, 20 petabytes. Okay, with 300 hard drives, you can get up to six petabytes, obviously raw capacity with 20 terabyte hard drives. Though I do think with Synology, the maximum size you can go up to is 16 terabytes. Yeah, and they are going to be limited to the device compatibility of just using the Synology hard drives, I assume. Yep, they are limited just to 16 terabyte SAS drives from Synology. We all saw it coming, but that is going to make this a lot more expensive because I don't know if it was supply chain or what, but those hard drives have gotten about twice as expensive now as Seagate's offerings for the exact same size. So that is one unfortunate thing, but I'm really excited to see one of these things in action. I do say that the place I see this being is by far just like people who want to be able to run DSM applications. I don't think people are going to be using this necessarily as a normal traditional file server. I think really what the vast majority of it's going to be is either a centralized backup server, just where, hey, we need a ton of data, really easy, don't need even that much performance, we just need to back up everything. And so you can use Synology's app, Active Backup for Business, you could use Hyper Backup Vault and just get a ton of data in here. Or I will say maybe as a massive surveillance station, though that, seem, that seems like a lot of cameras stored for a very long time for how big this thing is. I do think there's a lot of stuff you can do with this, but I do think the biggest one by far is going to be for backups. I am just incredibly impressed by how much space this thing is and the fact that it's finally coming out.
I really like the direction Synology is going, and they're honestly kind of fighting with the massive competitors now. No longer are they just kind of small business applications. No, this is a multi petabyte server all in one enclosure. I have not yet been able to find the price for it, but I would be absolutely shocked if it started under $10,000. So we're gonna go ahead and see on that. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this video. Go and leave any other videos you'd like me to check out in the comments below, and have a good one. Bye.